We are continuing the series on trimming the fat on physician practice expenses. We have an exciting series today talking about uh, retirement planning, group life, disability insurance, and all the other things that these experts, I'm not even going to try to get into it, will definitely elaborate on. I'm here today with Alex Herringer and Jim Ganan from Plan Futures Financial Group. Um, we've been working together now for over five years. It's been, they, these guys are great. Um, they'll come in, they're real, um, they're really a gem to work with. I feel very blessed to be a part of having them on this team. Um, as cited from last week, this isn't just about expense reduction. You know, this is definitely about how can we improve the, the management of your practice, the effectiveness of your practice, the efficiency of your practice. So there's no question that um, these guys are likely going to be able to save you money, but it's so much more than that. It's making sure that you have the right benefits in place, um, and they're also going to be able to um, help you manage that, which I'll let them talk about. So. Jim, Alex, uh, thank you so much for your time today. Um, I'm not even going to try to talk about your uh, expertise, so I'll, I'll give it over to you. Okay, well, I'll uh, start it off. Uh, Plan Futures has, has been incorporated since 1997, and uh, we're a full service uh, financial planning firm uh, specializing in with, uh, working with the owners of medical and dental practices. Uh, all of our associates have advanced degrees and extensive experience in things like um, retirement planning, tax strategies, uh, employee benefits, insurance and investments, of course, uh, business succession planning, and estate planning. Uh, so, you know, uh, as licensed uh, brokers, uh, we work with multiple insurance companies, multiple investment firms, uh, I believe, at last count. Uh, we're, we're affiliated with, I believe, 72 investment firms and over 80 different insurance companies. Uh, in our work with Missy, uh, what we, we start by auditing the existing plans or whatever is in, in existence at that uh, organization. And uh, the primary purpose, as you said, is, is to try to look for inefficiencies and, and see if any, anything can be cleaned up uh, with what's going on and then, and then once that's done, go forward on uh, different plans and strategies, and you know an ongoing uh, advisory service, and we collaborate with a lot of people. Absolutely, um, I just want to highlight. Actually, I we just came off of a big contract, a, a large practice in Western New York, and Jim and Alex actually were able to successfully reduce uh, this practice's retirement benefits by forty-two thousand um, dollars. It's just incredible. Um, so many times the practices really don't know the fat that exists, that they're really, and that's truly what it is. They're paying in um, admin fees. That's what, that's really where the cut came. Exactly. Yeah, from those fees. Um, the other thing was that we'd like to highlight is the fact that um, they really do come in as an extension of the practice. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're absolutely blessed to be uh, the extension of um, Mrs. Com M M Mrs. Company. Like we said, we've done a lot of work with Missy. Um, it's been a true blessing. And we're not looking to actually put too much work on on your uh, staff. That's always the big um, pushback is, yeah, we need, we need to take a look at our benefits, but our manager doesn't want to do the work to transition this um, any new plans over. Um, that's fine. Uh, we will work together as a team. We'll collaborate on the things that we would need from your practice. The only thing that we would need some assistance on is just gaining some information from somebody that we to help fill out the forms. That's really the extent of it. So we're not looking to add too much burden. Um, right, as, as Alex says, that uh, we operate as an extension of, of Missy's overall service. She quarterbacks everything. Uh, but then we're also an extension of the financial and, and uh, personnel department of the, the client company. Uh, and as a result, we can uh, take work off their plate, not so mm -hmm. not put it on. One of the things I really like about Alex and Jim also is um, that like-mindedness where going in, we really don't look, um, it's, it's not a narrow view. We really look at a big picture view. So, um, okay, we're contracted to look at just A, but we're committed to your organization. So really let's look at A, B, C, D, and E one of the things, for example, that has really become something we recognize as being important is actually 
look, they will review your buy-sell agreements and really understand what is your strategy going forward. Do you have um, a buyout account? Which we definitely want to do a series dedicated just to that, but I'll let them talk a little bit more on that. Well, um, you know, the ultimate goal for any business owner is to exit gracefully. And uh, so uh, what a shareholders or a agreement or buy sell agreement is designed to do is to, to uh, put in place the, the, uh, the orderly disposition of, of the uh, shares that uh, each person has, uh, and then have a, a continuation of the practice if that's what's, what the goal is. Uh, so the the, uh, the juniors can can ultimately take over from the seniors, and um, and then you know carry on over time. So you know it's it's a it's a critical uh, of critical importance to do that properly, and to have it funded properly and such. Uh, so so uh, a lot of the work that we do ultimately winds up after cleaning up the uh, the inefficiencies. The going forward part of it is to say, okay, how can we all retire successfully? And you know, what happens if somebody exits the practice early or gets disabled or dies or something like that? And so we we uh, put those plans in place and fund them properly. One of the things that that many of our clients are interested in is is uh, what's our succession plan? How does it work here? So our client can be well assured that uh, as we develop a long term relationship with them over many years. Uh, you know what happens when I retire and so on and so my succession plan is primarily focused on Alex but we have other associates here as well uh, and and uh, we practice what we preach basically that that uh, there's always an orderly transition of it of, uh, of the advice and the service that we can provide over time sure. I'm gonna pick up on Jim's comment um, I'm a big believer we are big believers and practice what we preach um, because clients always ask us what do you guys do and not only in regards to um, succession planning or buy sell agreements but also you know what do you guys do in regards to disability insurance planning or also as known as income protection life insurance planning one of the one of the things that we ask them is to have an open mind you know mm -hmm. because we we can have the coolest financial plans and, and, and solutions for their practice and personal planning however what we can um, help them is, is good habits, you know, mm -hmm. so we have to teach them good habits because again, we live in America, you know Yep <laughs> we're not, cool things to buy. Yes. Yes. Cool things to yes. buy, you know, like yeah. we're not uh, You know, you can you can buy the coolest boat, you know, the coolest yep. toys, you know, so yep. um, You know, and we help facilitate that but it, but, but proper, yes. you know, yeah. so we can teach people, clients habits, you know, we can that's why that's why we ask our clients to have good habits, you know, Absolutely. Um, and and listen to us and trust the process, you know. Yeah, that um, makes great sense. And and process. because clients have expectations, and, yeah. and in return, so do we, you know. Absolutely. So, so. Yeah. Great. So, beyond all the great things you just said, why plan Futures Financial Group over any other group? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, that's a, that's a great question. Actually, that you know, there's a lot of people that do what we do, but but I don't know of anybody um, in our in our market area that specializes the way that we do. And, um, and so uh, you know, it's not to take anything away from from others, but I, I believe that we have a, a, an intimate understanding of, of what uh, medical and dental practices sure. are all about and, and uh, the the uh, challenges that, that uh, our clients have. So I'd have to say it's that specialization that really um, separates us. I think we have a very uniqueness to our company, um, the way we conduct business and the way we um, um, differentiate ourselves from other medical groups. Jim and I, we've been working together for how many years? It was 11 now. So we've been partners for probably about five, six years. And um, I, I don't think there's one uh, financial group in Buffalo that can conduct financial planning in four to five different languages and I think that's a huge um, differentiator among other groups um, because of my background. Um, I, I have one. You have one, <laughs> yeah. And I You've have, got the rest of them. I have the rest of them. Um, but I think that's a tremendous differentiator um, um, from, from, from just a, 
just to connect with with the physician and 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 the dentists, you know, from a um, foreign standpoint, right? Absolutely. Because I feel like I came to America, you know, with the same. We all have the same um, unknowns, right? Yes. Um, even if I don't speak maybe the language um, of somebody from India or from Iran, you know, yep. I think one of the um, common grounds is like you know we come to America and. We live America through the same eye and look at America through the same eyes, you Absolutely. know. Yeah, um, awesome. And I think there's a, there's a, there's a lot of common ground, and I think that's one of the reasons why we have so many, um, you know, foreign physicians and dentists, you know. For sure. um, I think that's really really huge. I mean, we, you know, we work with a lot of people from Germany, from you know, from uh, the Russian speaking communities, you know. And I think there's really just a common ground of like, you know. From a cultural standpoint, you know, sometimes we say speak the same language. You know, most of the time we conduct business in English. You know, yep. so that Jim understands what we're talking about. You know, <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to let him out. You know, out of the conversation. So the that I think that planning process is huge. You know, Absolutely. and and yeah. I, and I think again, you know, there's not one company that specializes and and can differentiate themselves the way we do. You know, because we have a tremendous uh, advantage. You know. Um, Alex, actually, he's a superstar. Jim and I are sitting in his presence, very fortunately here. He was a professional soccer player in Germany, now here in the United States. What are the four to five languages that, um, outside of English that you speak? Um, so first language was um, Russian, um, then was German, um, obviously English, um, uh, French, and um, when I moved to the U.S., I uh, started learning uh, Spanish. You know, so uh -huh. I haven't practiced uh, too much uh, of my uh, French or Spanish. But you know, <laughs> if I were in Europe, I would pick up French pretty quick. You know, For so sure. yeah. um, I just need to practice. You know, like, his skills go outside of financial planning. Right? He's you know, a skilled guy. Yeah, he's a lucky guy. There, you know? there is uh, uh, a great connection that that Alex brings to the table with with, with people who have that kind of experience. They yeah. they come here to live the American dream. Yeah. And um, and so there there is that commonality and, and uh, sure. it, you know it really helps the, the, the connection if you will absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah. anything else I think we've exhausted it pretty well <laughs> yeah. all right great yeah. well please um, I will put Alex and Jim's contact information in the comments uh, give them a call you, you don't have to be in healthcare and um, you could be from any industry they certainly they're a great resource and I hope that um, somebody will take the opportunity to contact them today. Thank you.